Okay, so here's a tutorial for doing a rainbow in Photoshop, and this is doing a rainbow right on the picture. So if you look over here, I have my first layer. And what I did next was I just took a little snippet, a uh, quick selection out of here. And if you look at it, it's only got a 60% opacity. That's so that the rainbow starts to come through the trees. So we're just going to turn everything back on here. <clears throat> um, I copy the first layer, so I've always got a backup layer if I want to do something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the rainbow that I made and just show you how I did that. I went up and I did just a new layer. And I labeled that layer rainbow. So we'll just make it rainbow 2. And there it is. Now... <clears throat> I have this, turn this off, and what we're going to do is go to gradient layer, make sure that you have linear selected, and you're going to select that particular one. Then all you're going to do is, I wanted my rainbow to come in, in here. Now remember that if you go like this, the rainbow goes like that. So we want the rainbow to go like this. So I'm just going to put it just like that. And now you have it. So while you're on there, you're going to come up over here and you're going to be playing around with this. So first I'm going to rotate it a little bit because obviously I want the rainbow to, you know, come through. Now you don't have to hit enter. You can just come back here and we're going to perspective it. And again, going to spread the rainbow out a little bit right because that's the way it happens and go back in here and I'm going to scale it and just pull it out just a bit and then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go warp now this is where the fun is and you're just going to warp it I know it's going to do little goofy little things there but you'll find the places that it will warp the way you want it to and that's all I did was just kind of play around with it like that so now I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna do perspective And just, I just, again, I'm just playing. And just seeing exactly what I can get here. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to hit enter. That's going to save that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that opacity down to about 30%. You can play with that. Let's take it back up to 35. We're also going to go over here and add a little Gaussian blur to it. <clears throat> I have it set at 9. You know, pull the slider, see what happens, um, and get the effect that you want. There, I kind of like that. So let's say OK to that. And <clears throat> I'm going to keep this one turned off. I'm going to pull this rainbow down and turn my trees on. And my trees are at 60. You can change that as well. You can make it 75. Um, you can make it 50. It's all going to depend on what you like. And there you go. That's how I made a rainbow. You can play with it. It's lots of fun. You'll learn a lot about, you know, the different, the perspective and how you can transform things. And hope you enjoy.